Are you struggling to make your quotes look pretty from Salesforce? Well, I've got just a solution for you today and I'm gonna show you how to do all of it using just point and click. So today I'm gonna show you how to build a really elegant looking quote using Salesforce data. This will be dynamic data coming from Salesforce. The objects we'll use today are opportunity and opportunity products. Once the document is all set up, we'll show you how the end user can access it by simply clicking the document generation button. If you're looking to save time and you are looking to generate multiple documents, you can also use list view for this as well. So that's the overview. Let's get on to the build part and show you how easy it is using point and click. All right, so let's go ahead and begin the build. On the left hand side of my screen is Salesforce and on the right hand side is Microsoft Word. In order to build this template, you will need to install the Word add-in, which is part of the Microsoft App Store, and you can install it directly from there. Now, bringing the screen in the middle, the next thing I'm going to do is start to begin building documents. On the left-hand side, the first relationship I'm going to pull in is the account. And within the account, I'm going to pull in the account address. So account name, and account address. To do this, I will simply click insert field, select my object, and because I know my parent object is opportunity, that is what I'm going to select. And then I will choose the reference. Now the reference within it is the account, which is the account ID. So as I choose account ID, it opens up another reference field where I can now choose the name from. So I will choose account name. Now these tags can be shortened, modified, whatever you see fit, it's completely possible. Now I've got the name, I'm gonna go ahead and get the address. So same premise, we will now get the street. And what I can do is I can actually copy these fields and then modify them just to save us some time. So this will be street. This one, we will go ahead and edit it again. And this time we will choose city. And now there is city. This one will be state. So we'll edit this and choose state. And then finally, we will now choose the zip. So everything is now good to go. I'm just gonna make some modifications in the tags and these will be good to go. Once these have been established, you can make modifications in terms of how you want the tag to have a particular uh, bold or particular attributes in terms of the uh, attribute type, the size, the font size, you can decide all of that. But that is the first part Moving on, I want to show you the relationship between the contact. Now the contact, which is going to be to an email, is going to be Joe Blogs. And it's the same thing. As I click into it, it will give us all the information from that particular object. So click insert field, choose object opportunity. This time my reference is primary contact and within it, I can now pull relationships. Click insert, there is my full name. And I'll copy this tag one more time so we can follow the same premise and change that tag to email. And just like that, I have now email. Last but not least, I'm gonna pull in the system field. And the system field, you can just use these to pull in any data type. So for example, I want date, but I want date in a certain format. So I know that today's date is going to pull in that format. This is why you use system field to bring in data such as today's date, time, etc. Next up is the relationship of products. So now we're going to be able to pull in all these dynamic data directly into the document. So to do this, I want to click insert table because table will allow us to bring multiple records in a way which is presentable. I'm going to go ahead and choose opportunity product. And then I will go ahead and select my fields such as product name, such as product quantity, 
and finally the sales price which if I click format I can go ahead and choose whatever format I'd like to display the currency and just like that I am now able to insert the table. I can now also modify the tag names just like we did it before. Also the sales price. I'm going to make these columns a bit wider. And now we're good to go. The amazing part is that you can simply now change the formatting and the design using the native word functionality. So I have an attribute that I'm just going to apply like this. You can see it's taken over. Maybe I just want to change some of the attributes such as the color, which I will. So I'll change this to green and the text to be white. And there you go. There you have it. And then the final field I'm going to use is the total amount. So what we can do, we can just go ahead edit this and choose this to be amount. Now once I choose amount you can again configure the format and off you go. That is easy as building this template. Now once your template is set it's all about doing a, your testing. So on the right hand side you have your relationships, opportunity and line item. Your job is to make sure that the child is connected. In this case, they connect via the opportunity ID. Click save, save conditions. We are now gonna go ahead and test this using the opportunity ID to make sure our data is okay and it's working. Now, if everything is correct, they should bring back the data successfully, which it has, it's come back beautifully. This is what we want. And after all of this, we're ready to deploy. Now all I have to do is copy to publish and click on publish to new form. So that's the build. As you can see, it's all point and click. You don't need any syntax queries. It's really select your fields, select your objects and connect everything together. And then you can use the native word functionality that you've used since forever to be able to make the documents look as pretty as you'd like them to be. Now it's demo time. Once the template's been deployed, we'll show you how you can execute this as an end user in Salesforce uh, using the button as well as the list view. So let's get into it. Once the document has been deployed, your end users in Salesforce can access these documents via the document generation button. Now you may call that button whatever you like, it really is your preference. As I click on the document generation button, my quote generation document is there and I can simply view it. This will bring it in a Microsoft Word viewer. You can also do this with PDF if you wish to do so, it is up to you. And you can now see that the data has been dynamically rendered. So that is one way of doing it. Another way, if you'd like to save time and do multiple quotes, I'm gonna give you an example. So let's say I select number one and I select number 28. I'll click on this button in the list view and now I can do the same thing. I can either download them individually or I can merge them into one document. Your preference completely. But once these documents have been downloaded, they'll be down on your desktop. Now let me show you how they look. So one is done, and this is what the downloaded version looks like. That's one of them. And then the second document I am gonna bring up now, and this is what that one looks like. So that is how the quote generation can work with Titan executed directly from Salesforce, whether it's a single record or multiple records. So there you have it, full solution that allows you to build everything using point and click and deploy it in no time. Thank you for watching this video. I had a lot of fun making it and I'm looking forward to bringing you more content soon.